this is a great model. It's an unequal intersecting pitch roof with consistent ridge height, which means two different spans, right? So that these pitches are different and a, what would be considered a bastard valley. So it doesn't emanate at 45 degree angle in plan view as do most hips and valleys. And this has an equal overhang. So what that would mean was, is the hip has to, and valley have to come off the inside and outside corner. That is to say, everything slides over a little bit in order to accommodate an offset. So these overhangs would be the same. And this can be straightforward, or there's a lot of ways to approach it. And as a roof framer, I sometimes get called in to jobs to frame and maybe I'm dealing with the homeowner or the, or the architect or the general contractor and, and let's say this was an equal pitch roof. This is a 12-12 here and this would be a 12-12 and they it's all vaulted inside and they say, hey, I wanna kick this ridge all the way up since it's all vaulted uh, and, and make this, this side would be steeper, I guess, wouldn't it? And what would the pitch be or can you do that? And I say, yeah, I can do that. And then when it's time to figure out the pitch, it's not given on the plans, you know? So the engineer says, yeah, it's fine. All that stuff's fine. So we have to calculate what it would be. So essentially it's a pretty nifty thing where so if you were to take the spans from outside of tail to outside of tail, in this case, 22 feet divided by outside of tail, outside of tail, 16 feet here, 22 divided by 16 would look a bit like this, 22 divided by 16 equals, and you get 1.37. If you multiply that by the given pitch, that'll give you the unknown pitch. So the given pitch is 12, because we're dealing with rises, times 12 equals, and it would be 16.5. And that would be with a consistent overhang because I went from outside of rafter tail to outside of rafter tail. But if they didn't care about the overhang, so I don't care about the overhang. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Do whatever you want to do. Then I wouldn't do that. I would pull from the outside of plate to the outside of plate, which is 18 here. And here is 12 feet, say, okay, it'd be 18 divided by 12, divided by 12, <laughs> 1.5, given span is 12, 12, what's the unknown span? Well, we just divided it by 12. Now we're going to multiply it by the given span, which is 12. And that's going to give us 18. So this pitch would be an 1812, but the plate heights would be the same, huh? The overhangs would be different. The reason is, is if you had this raised plate in order to accommodate equal overhangs, remove, everything would drop down. But in order to achieve the same ridge height, you'd have to increase the pitch. It's all in the direction that you come, right?